open today. Ah, uh, are those monkeys? Nobody told me she was gonna get monkeys. Whoa, those look so, so cool. I can't wait till she opens those. They're gonna be so much fun. Scribbles, Scribbles, get back in your place. Lulu's coming, come on. Uh, all right, gotta go, smell you later. Hi guys, thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. Today we're going to be opening up some animal themed blind bags and blind boxes. I have two Littlest Pet Shop blind bags, a Lil Woodsies, and also a pack of Fingerlings Minis. So I am so excited to get these little tiny animals out of their shells. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with this Littlest Pet Shop blind box. This is a Series 2 Littlest Pet Shop, and inside we will have a mystery pet, an accessory, and also a carrier for the pet, in addition to this hook that you can use to carry the pet on your backpack or your purse. So we have two blind bags, one is larger than the other, and also our checklist. So these Littlest Pet Shop guys don't have individual names, they just have numbers, but we can take a look at some of them here, and that star one is really cute. And here's the other side. Let's open the small blind bag first. Okay, so here is our accessory and it looks like a little feather. That is really, really cute. I've never gotten one of those. And it's sort of a periwinkle color, which is a light uh, bluish purple. And then here is our S hook, which we can use to hook our accessories to the carrier. Here is the larger blind bag. Oh. And our little animal fell right out of the bag. And whoa, the first thing I'm seeing is this translucent carrier. I've actually never seen one like that. It's really cool. So here's our pet, guys. And it looks like a tiny little blue birdie. And it is super duper cute. It's a dark blue and it has a yellow beak and some yellow feet. And here's the back of it. You can see the LPS logo. And then we can put him on this pedestal. And the pedestal is that light blue, the same color of the feather that we received. And then we can put the transparent cover over top. So he is nice and safe in his home. So you can hook your accessory and your pet onto this hook. And it sounds like there is just a bird outside squawking, so that's appropriate. Um, but you can hook your little birdie onto this hook. And guys, this one I love. The other ones were uh, not translucent, but this one is so, so pretty. And I love that feather. How cute. So let's go ahead and open the second Littlest Pet Shop, and this is from Series 1, and I believe this is similar to these ones. So in this one, you do get a carrier and a pet on a pedestal, but it's a ring instead of a, a hook that you can put on your bag so you can wear it. Here's our checklist and our carrier. It looks like a bell with a pink bow and hearts cut out of it. That's super duper cute. Here is our pedestal for the ring. Here is the ring. It looks like a light pink. And 
drum roll, please. Here is our adorable little pet. And look, it looks like we got a little cow. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. So that's why we got the bell, because cows wear bells around their neck. And he has a little bell around his neck. And it's a white cow. And he has some pink fur at the top and pink cow spots. Wow, this really is one of the cutest LPS I've ever gotten. So you can put your pet on the pedestal. And then you can put the pedestal on the ring. Or if you wanted to just display your pet, you could leave it off. And then you can cover our tiny cute cow, although I don't know why you would want to because he's so cute. But if you did want to hide him, you can put the bell on top and then you can wear it on your finger unless your fingers are gigantic like mine, in which case it won't fit. But it's still super duper cute. <laughs> So those were two really good LPS openings. I love both of those. So next guys, let's open up our Lil Woodsies. And I've never actually opened one of these, um, so I don't know what they're like. I know they're a bit like Calico Critters though. So these Lil Woodsies are the Bobblies and it's a bobblehead collection. They are for ages three and up. And this is series four. I love this little acorn container. That is one of the reasons I picked this up because I thought this was so, so cute. I love all the hearts on the top. I love the color because it's my favorite and I just thought it was adorable. So if you can tell, it looks like we have a theme today with cows. So this is the second baby moo cow that we've gotten, and oh my gosh, she is so, so cute. So there's the uh, bobblehead effect, and these are flocked, so they're very fuzzy. So she has white flocking and black flocking. She has two black eyes, a pink nose. It does look like there is a tiny bit of paint on the white parts of her that shouldn't be there, but we might be able to wipe that off. Then here's the back of her little head. She has her white um, horns, I guess you could call them. Her arms are flocked and her feet are flocked. And she has an orange bow in her hair, a purple shirt, and an orange dress. And she is giving me Halloween vibes. So. She looks very Halloween-y to me, and she is just so cute. I really like these. Let's look at the checklist and see if Miss Moo Cow has a name. Oh wow, there are quite a lot of these, so let's see if we can find her. There she is, and her name is Curly Cow. And just look at these other ones, guys. They're so cute. Look at the koala. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to get more of these. They're super adorable. There's a little piggy there as well. So let's close this back up. Oh, there we go. So I do like also that this one came with a reusable container. Uh, there was a small bit of plastic packaging, but that's very minimal compared to some toys that I get. Okay, guys, so lastly, we have our monkeys. Do you guys know how to say monkey in Spanish? It's mono. So, aquí son nuestros monos. Here are our monkeys or our monitos. So in this fingerlings pack, it says there are five pieces. There are three, I believe, characters, an accessory, and also a bracelet. You have one visible fingerling, which is Reese, and she's a pink little monkey. 
And then there are two surprise monkeys in there as well. So I'm going to try to get this out without ruining this banana back card because it's really cute and I feel like I could reuse it for something. Oof. And I did this off camera in hopes I could save the banana, but alas, it is ruined. <laughs> so I'm going to do the rest here. And pieces like this I usually try to save. I feel like you can reuse them for um, different toy uses. You can make like a little doll swim pool. Um, there's just a lot of different uses for plastic like this um, besides throwing it out. Okay, so let's see what we have inside here. So here is our checklist. And here are all the ones that we saw on the back of the package. So here is Reese. And Reese is a light purple monkey. She has blue eyes and an ombre tail that goes from a light lavender to orange. And she is super cute. <laughs> so guys, I think that this one is Jamie because it looks like he has the same uh, tail coloring and fur coloring. Oh, so he is a legendary. But he is a light green, sort of a mint color monkey. He has some blue eyes as well, but he has pink arms and he has these uh, green stripes on his arms, his legs, and also his tail. Here's the back of him and he has a green heart on his bum. And it looks like this one did also have a mark on hers. Looks like a white spiral. And our third monkey. Okay, this one is super duper glittery. And she is so pretty. She's a light pink color. And she has these uh, iridescent spots of glitter on her. It looks like it's only on the bottom parts of her and also her hair which is hot pink and then she has some hot pink eyes as well and then she has a mark on her here which looks to be a pink bow i guess those are kind of like how my little ponies have cutie marks i guess these have monkey booty marks so there are our three monkeys here is our bracelet and it is also a mint green color and it looks like it has a latch here so that you can latch it like that. And this is much too small for the likes of my wrists, but it will be cool to hang our monkeys on and put them somewhere in my toy room. And then lastly, we have this accessory, which is a light pink, tiny, tiny baby little monkey on a ring. And that is super cute. Okay guys, so here are our three monkeys on the loop, hanging around, monkeying around I should say. And they're really really cute. So guys, thank you so much for hanging around with me. I had so much fun with this opening. I love everything that we got. The fingerlings are so so cute. I love our little cows. I'm going to name the tiny LPS one Moo Bear, sort of like Pooh Bear, but with Moo. And then this little girl here will be Lil Miss Moo. And then our birdie in its transparent jar, which is just so beautiful with the feather. Everything was just awesome and it looks really cool together. So guys, thank you as always for watching. Please subscribe if you feel inclined and have a great day. Bye. Oh man, I'm so excited for the new monkeys. Where are they? Have you guys seen them? No, no monkeys here. Haven't seen them yet. No, no monkeys here, but Splash has been acting a little strange. And my hair has felt a little heavy the last few minutes. I don't know what that could be though. Um, Miss Jive, 
don't look now, but... No, don't tell me there is a monkey in my head. There's a monkey on your head. Not in it, but on it. Uh, get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Guys, get it out! Get the monkey out of my hair! Please, help me! Okay, Miss Jive, tranquila, calm down. Splatters and I will come help you. Just be calm and... Uh, ooh, ooh. What's that? I, I feel something on my head now. Is that... No, man, this is... Is, is there a monkey on my head now, too? Ay, Dios mía. Get it out. Ayúdame. Ayúdame. Por favor. Man, you guys are totally overreacting. You need to chill. They're just monkeys. <laughs> what are they going to do to you? <laughs> Scribbles. Scribbles. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. 